What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Retro Aviation. Hope you guys have a fantastic day today. Today we have the April 2023 Pensacola International Airport update for you guys. I really hope you guys are excited for today's video. Today we have a very exciting Pensacola update in store for you guys. We do have some various aircraft changes, some different movements, and all kinds of fun items to dive into in today's airport update. I really hope you guys are excited for this and without any further delay, let's go ahead and get started. We'll start as we usually do over here at gate two to get kicked off right here with the Delta Airlines Boeing up or sorry, this is gate four with the Delta Airlines Boeing 737-900ER. It's currently coming in from the Atlanta Hartsville Jackson International Airport. It is really cool to see this service going strong and I'm uh, really excited for the future of it. Plenty of 737-900s, but we're also gonna find a couple of 737-800s as well. So pretty simple, no 757s or 717s right now, but hopefully those will return to the lineup at some point as I really like both those aircraft. So certainly very nice to get to see that right there. And that is absolutely awesome right there for Delta. Chilling out here at gate six, we do have a Wolf. This is gonna be Frontiers Airbus A321. Virginia, the Wolf currently can make it a non-stop service today. Coming in from uh, Denver today, and we'll be heading back out there. Now, this has still been on the A320, A321, uh, one, or sorry, the A320 and the A320neo, but I thought it would be nice to get A321 here for different as uh, it's. I've put so many A320neos in here, I thought it'd be nice to just get some variety. I'm sure they've also substituted at some point or another. Maybe it's been a while, but I thought it'd be nice to get a 321 here for Denver. Uh, I also really hope to see Airbus E through 21 Neo model made soon. I heard that float around the community a little bit. So hopefully we'll get a 321 Neo for Frontier as many of them are surfacing from Orcas to Bald Eagles. We've seen it all on 321 Neo already and I'm really excited to catch more of them and also hopefully get a model soon. Uh, so hopefully they'll be coming soon, whether it's NG models, Gemini Jets, Panda models, or somebody else. But nevertheless, this Frontier 321 is heading over to Denver today. Absolutely love that model. Super glad to get to utilize it there as it is a really nice one to say the least. This Spirit Airlines Airbus E20 Neo is currently making a non-stop service date in from Fort Lauderdale and is now going to be heading on over to Orlando. Uh, they've really remained consistent with those services, so I'm certainly glad to see Spirit going really strong. Absolutely love those services for them, and I'm really eager to see what Spirit does in the near future with their current uh, lineup. So that Spirit 320 Neo is, of course, doing its usual. Let's see if I can get a decent angle of the Southwest. This is gonna be the toughest gate of the airport updates, so sorry about this, but currently hanging out. We have the Southwest Airlines Boeing 737-800. This is in the Canyon Blue livery with Skimitar winglets. He's currently making a non-stop service today coming in from, uh, let's bring him in today from uh, Nashville, and now it's gonna be heading on over to Houston Hobby. Uh, we are gonna be seeing some more resumption services coming soon, so I'm certainly excited for that in terms of the daily frequency, so stay tuned for that. But nevertheless, the Southwest is currently doing just that. Pausing the video is one way to get the camera fixed. Currently loading up right here, gate number nine. We have this American Airlines Airbus E319, one of two. This is our CFM variant today. This is currently coming in from the Dallas Fort Worth International Airport, DFW, and is gonna be heading back out there. A bunch of A320s and A319s, so certainly very happy to see that. We're also getting PSA CRJ 900s on this route now, which is a new addition as Mesa is now over with United. So will United Mesa CRJ 9s fly here? We will have to see, but for the moment, we currently got this American 319 coming in from D-dubs. And currently loading up right here, gate number seven, we have this American Airlines Airbus E319 with IAE engines. This is currently loading up with a non-stop service today. This is heading over to the Charlotte Devils International Airport. We're also seeing a mix of, already everybody, one dinner later, and we are back. But this is a really cool looking aircraft and certainly glad to have this in today's airport updates. So like I said, this is currently loading up with a non-stop service out to Charlotte. This American Eagle Embry Air 175 is currently pushing back with the non-stop service day out to Miami International Airport in Miami after coming in earlier today on the Saturday only service from Chicago O'Hare. So I'm glad to see that America's going really strong with those Saturday only services. So that is a really nice touch to today's airport update. I'm certainly glad to see how much progression they've made on that. And hopefully we'll see a LaGuardia soon. We will, we will see on that looking very good. Let me move this over a little bit just to really take a look at that beautiful lighting. Current loading up right here at gate number three. We have the United Airlines Boeing 737-900ER. This is currently coming in from the Houston Intercontinental International Airport. How about one commuter, 145, and two 737-900s a day? That's a really impressive showing here at Pensacola. They're definitely going for the capacity approach rather than the frequencies. I really hope that's doing them justice as I think they've done a really good job with that. So I'm all about the differences and I think that that was really cool that they decided to make one in today's airport update. So how about United with the main line? Not only consistent, but twice a day here at Pensacola, they don't even have that to like Tulsa, for instance, this airport double the size. So really impressive in getting all those leisure travelers and we absolutely love to see it. Lastly, we have this American Eagle CRJ-Sorry, let me see if I get this fixed. 
uh, what happened was it went off my screen. But this is the CRJ-700. It's currently loading up at gate number one with the non-stop service out to Washington Reagan National Airport, DC-8, after coming in from Philadelphia, which is back. Um, Philadelphia is a once daily CRJ-700 or 900 for PSA. And then Reagan is a twice daily CRJ-900. And there are a couple 700s as well. Therefore, while we have the 700 in here, it's a really nice aircraft. I'm certainly glad to get the represent here at gate number one. Beautiful looking plane. I'm certainly glad to get to see this right here. Over there in the foregrounds, we have the United Airlines Airbus E319, the Evo Blue livery. This is currently waiting for gate number three to open up after coming in from Chicago over here early. Uh, really cool to get to see Chicago on the E319. I think it's going to be remaining this way too, which is very cool. So really a huge flex right there as American only has that Saturday only. So this is all United's market right now and they're owning it. So absolutely love that effort. I think Southwest is looking to come in with Midway on Saturday. So that will certainly be a nice compliment. But nevertheless, United certainly owning this market right now. And I'm eager to see where they can go from here. Absolutely love that model by Gemini. It's so nice and has been such a practical aircraft here in the collection. Anyways, though, he's out to Chicago here in a little bit. Taxing in is the Flamingo of Silver, Silver's ATR. This is currently making the non-stop service coming in today from, <clears throat> excuse me, Tampa. And now it's heading over to Orlando. Those have been really good services for us. Not only non-stop, but Tampa is on Silver. So that's very nice. Uh, the American 319 will be pushing soon. And he'll be pulling into his gate number nine. I think it's technically 12, but nevertheless in that same uh, general proximity. Let me uh, turn off the camera and get some better light. Why not? Alrighty, currently loading up over here at the uh, cargo ramp. We have two beautiful UPS aircraft. Uh, if you've watched all these Pensacola updates, you definitely know where these are going, but we never can ever fail to pass it up. This is UPS Airbus E300 freighter. It's currently making the nonstop service day. Coming in right now from uh, Albany, Georgia, and it's gonna be heading back out there. And this UPS Boeing 7200 is currently making a nonstop flight today in from Louisville, and we'll be heading back out there. It's certainly cool to get to see those going super well. Uh, three general aviation aircraft over here. We have this purple Phantom 300 that's currently loading up and it's going to be heading over to Fort Lauderdale, the seaport, if you've seen current events. Uh, this Cessna 172 in this brownish livery is currently going to be doing a local flight around the area. And this Cirrus SR-22 just made a non-stop flight today coming in right now from Augusta, Georgia, and now he's going to be heading on to Panama City. Pretty short hop right there, but nevertheless looking really good for uh, Panama City, that is. Uh, this Learjet 75 is currently taxing into the apron after coming in right now from Tyler, Texas, and he's now going to be making a service on over to, um, uh, sorry, St. Petersburg, Clearwater. Lastly, for today's airport update, we have this United Express Ember Ear J-175 in the Evo Blue livery. This aircraft is currently making a non-stop service today, coming in from Denver on the Saturday-only service. We'll be heading back up there here in a little bit. Sincerely missed the Washington Dulles service we had, but nevertheless, what can I say, as that is unfortunately a blast from the past at this point. And speaking of which, that will do for today's Pensacola update, airport update. Excuse me. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video as this was a super fun update to create. We also got the United uh, 319 and some better lighting, so let's go ahead and take a look at that. Sorry that the angle kind of got messed up, but nevertheless, it looks super nice. I'm just gonna try to get it out of the shade. Let me see if I can bring it all the way around. There we go. Much better. Looks really nice looking model. Highly recommend picking one up if you can find one. Really great Pensacola update with various movements and so much uh, action. So the coming updates are gonna be even more jam packed. So definitely stay on the lookout for them. Really excited to create those, excuse me. And I'm really looking forward to them. And I hope you all are as well. But with all that being said, that'll do for today's airport update, everybody. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. My name is Redder of Aviation. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Take it easy, everybody. Stay safe. Trust the process. Do what you love and love what you do. My name is Redder of Aviation. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys soon as Redder of Aviation is signing off.